A state trooper very lucky to be alive tonight after a close call during a chase. She was nearly caught in the path of a car that troopers say was going more than 100 miles per hour on State Route 63 in Lebanon. Jordan Burgess live now with that move that saved her life. What she did wasn't much, but in this case, it made all the difference. But the suspect wasn't so fortunate when this pursuit came to a crashing halt. And right now, prosecutors are considering how serious his charges will be. Torn open like a tin can, the trunk of this cruiser is proof of how a chase that went for miles came down to a difference of a much smaller distance. Mr. By less than a foot. The close call started innocently enough with a man here on Tauna Drive in Westchester trying to sell his car to 21-year-old Trayvon Broomfield of Dayton. But Broomfield wanted to do more than test the handling. We came back from a test drive and we were both getting out, or at least I was getting out, and he just took off. Broomfield's attempt to get away from Westchester police and later the highway patrol ended when he crashed here on State Route 63 near Markey Road. A trooper had thrown out stop sticks there, but something didn't feel right. In this particular case, I asked her what made her get away from her patrol car. She just said she didn't feel safe being close to it, so she moved away. That small move is what saved her life when Broomfield's car came barreling into the cruiser. I don't think she could have done anything better. Broomfield was thrown from his car that had to be towed out of the trees. He was taken to Atrium Medical Center with serious injuries. The trooper had minor injuries, but her story could have had a much different ending. She backed out of the way just in time. And at last check, the charges against Broomfield were still being considered, but will likely be extensive. Reporting live, Jordan Burgess, 2 News.